Hello there, welcome everybody. It's Diorama Don here. And continuing my theme of uh, science fiction, uh, my previous video was was a science fiction diorama. So um, it led me then to think, well, we'll think of Star Wars and the Millennium Falcon. So I've made, it's quite a, an extensive video of, of, of actually how to make the body of the the thing, not necessarily the finishing of it. Uh, that took that would take another another three or four videos to explain all that. Uh, but um, the dimensions and and how to actually make the uh, the uh, the outline of the uh, the body of the thing, if you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, so uh, we'll get on with the video then, and I'll show you how I made it. Um, I must admit, of all the more than two years of making uh, dioramas and models of various things. I've made tank, panther tanks, tiger tanks, Sherman tanks. Um, this has easily been the, the, the most complicated and uh, the most enjoyable thing to make. Um, I've, I've really liked having to check on dimensions, looking at photographs and, and trying to recreate as best I can. Uh, the uh, Felenium Malcolm, or something like that. <laughs> okay, so we'll get on with the video, and I'll show you how I made it. Um, in the meantime, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, there will be more science fiction or different kinds of dioramas uh, than I'm normally recognised for for making. So this is just the start then of uh, something a little bit different. Okay, let's get on with the video and uh, I'll show you how I made it. Okay, so let's make a start. Um, you must appreciate that I have no idea how to make this. It's <laughs> I know that doesn't help matters much, uh, but it's going to have to be a case of um, learning as I go along. So I've got to decide, first of all, how big I want the uh, aircraft to be. Aircraft? Spaceship? Um, Falcon. <laughs> I, I need to decide how big I want it to be. I don't want it to be a huge thing. Um, something that could sit on a shelf quite easily once I've finished. So I thought the size of a dinner plate would be just about the right size. So I've got my dinner plate here which is 29 centimeters in diameter. Now I've got some two millimeter cardboard. Uh, which is what I use for most of my modelling. Um, if you can get a sheet like this of 2mm cardboard, all well and good. It's so much better and easier than using that corrugated stuff, which is horrible to work with. Uh, so 2mm cardboard, stick your plate down and draw around it, and we need two. Okay, easy enough, no problem at all. Uh, but because we've used a plate, we don't have a centre uh, like we would do if we used a compass. So we need the centre of the circle. So we need to square the circle off with the use of my <coughs> excuse me with the use of my set set square. Yes, yeah, set no see, tri, tri square. I forget what you call them. Anyway, mine's broken. <laughs> uh, but. Um, just square off the circles, okay? And then we're using the diagonals, you can find the center then of the circle. So we want a square in the middle of the circle. I know it's round, it will eventually be round, but we need a square for the moment, bear with me. Uh, and it needs to be uh, one third of the remaining dimension. Um, let me try to explain that. So this is um, uh, six, six centimetres. So this distance will be about 12 centimetres, something like that. So th th this distance, this distance is half the size of the square. Okay. Then we need to put the diagonals in like so then we can cut the two circles out so if I do that 
rather than try to explain any further, um, I'll cut the circles out and then uh, we'll do the next stage. So I'll be back in just one second. OK, so I've cut my circles out. OK, we've got the, uh, the two circles. Um, I cut the diagonals like so um, and then scored the square. OK, so cut only halfway through where the square is so that you can slightly bend that down like so. But doing so, um, you, the, uh, you, you're going to have to cut a, a, a V shaped out here. So if, if, if you measure about one eighth of an inch, um, about two, uh, three millimeters on the end there, and then cut this V shape out so that when these two bend, they, they will meet like that. OK, if, if you don't cut the V shape out, then the, you, you, well, it won't work, <laughs> quite, quite honestly. Uh, so you, you need to cut these uh, ve just very slight V shapes. It doesn't need too much. Otherwise, it's going to be too big a gap by the time you've uh, bent these down. OK, so we've got that shape. Now there's the front. Uh, we need uh, separate modules that we'll put in on the sides and the front. Obviously there'll be the separate module for the piece, two pieces in the front and also for the piece that leads out to the cockpit. But they don't need to be uh, cut into the top and bottom. We can put those on the top. <laughs> so what we need is this shape on both sides and this shape in the front. But we need to cut those out. So from this side, we need half an inch either side of that uh, halfway mark. So 12 millimeters either side. And then on the end there, we need to measure one inch either side or 25 millimeters either side. OK, and then we're going to cut that out. Do the same this side. Uh, but this side is parallel. Uh, so it's uh, five eighths of an inch or 17 millimetres either side of that centre line and the same on the end there and then cut that out so you'll end up with that. Now it, it's, it's starting to get a bit flimsy now uh, but don't worry too much about that because by the time we've uh, glued that and glued that and glued that and glued that and, did, and do the same with the bottom then we're going to be able to put the two together, I hope. <laughs> OK, so I'll do that. I'll do um, hot melt glue should uh, glue this quite nicely. So um, that that's then going to give that kind of shape. Once, once these two pieces of card meet again, it's going to give that shape, which is the shape we want. OK, so I'll cut this one out so cut that and cut that and cut that and then glue the two together um, and we'll see what it looks like then okay so I cut down the, well I, I showed you that before the uh, the cuts down the opposite angles down there uh, bent them down and glued them with hot melt glue um, then I put a two inch spacer just a, a square of cardboard in the middle there. So that's two inches high and then, uh, uh, sorry, 50 millimetres and then a half inch or 12 millimetre strip of cardboard. I cut a number of strips, uh, glued it to one part all the way around and then fixed the top on and glued the top down. Uh, it's a little bit fiddly, not, not uh, as easy as perhaps it looks, but... Um, Anyway, that's the outcome. Um, then you need just to take the corners off these edges here where it uh, tapers out like that. Then there's a further taper on the ends, on both ends like that. And also what you can do is um, uh, cut around the circle 
not all the way through just a, a, a cut round and then press down that triangle and that will then make that that square into a circle if you know what I mean so just score around the shape of the circle then press that triangle and it will become part of the uh, that <laughs> okay I think you know what I mean so what we need to do now is put these pieces in so I'll work out what I need to do what sizes and everything and uh, it'll, it'll make it a lot more sturdier anyway when these pieces are in uh, so I'll figure out what to do there and uh, come back and we'll do the next bit. So what I did was cut out a circle of cardboard the same diameter as the original circle we drew. Uh, so that sits slightly proud of the top like that. And then I put this uh, thing. <laughs> the, 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 it's the same both sides. So I've done, done one and I'll show you how, how I did it. Uh, so we need a piece of card that length, which is just short of the end, because when that goes on the end like that, um, it needs to be three and a half inches, I think. And then there are parallel lines along the top, and then it goes down an angle to the to the end like that. That that's basically the shape we're after. Okay, so I've got my three and a half inches wide card. And whatever that distance is at the end there, I think it's something like seven eighths of an inch, 18 millimeters, no, 20, 22 millimeters, something like that. But whatever yours is, that like that distance there, then we need parallel lines going down there, which you can score and bend slightly like that. And then at the end of the at the end of the three and a half inches whatever distance that is from there to there I think mine was two and a quarter inches uh, something like something like that so that when you put that in there like that doing one side at a time you can glue along that line that where you've scored down there and then turn around and do the other side but then you can also glue along there so that you'll have two pieces sticking out like that when it's all glued up okay then cut those bits off cut them off then you need that shape because because you're all you will already have that shape permanently in position already so you need to make that shape and then the same underneath so that's a filler to put into there and then on the other side do the same but you don't need this bit all you need is the parallel lines and the angled lines and then that would just sit on the top like that I hope that's clear <laughs> it's uh, it starts to get just a little bit complicated but that's basically the shape we need so I'll, I'll do the same this side now uh, and then for the modules on the end uh, just decide what diameter you want on the end there it's just just slightly smaller than the shape you've got there um, and then cut a piece of card that diameter then cut another piece of card about three sixteenths uh, of an inch or five, four or five millimeters narrower. So you've got that size and then the smaller size there. And then there is, um, uh, a, a, well, it, it, it goes in. <laughs> I, I can't think of the term for the moment, but you'll need another inside diameter like that. So if you glue, and, and this is um, just, three-quarter polystyrene so if you glue that to there and glue that to there in the middle so you've got the, the, the so they uh, line up if you like then cut away at the polystyrene and then with a piece of um, fine uh, sandpaper you can sand if you like that shape all the way around 
so it's so it's that sh conical shape like that and we've got the uh, that insert that's the word I was looking for that insert in the middle there so when that goes on there then that's going to be right okay so I'll do the other side and then I'll work out what's going to happen here with the the long bit that sticks out at the front so um, I'll come back and we'll do that bit okay so now I've got the two side pieces done with the uh, things on the end I'm afraid I don't know the names of these things um, I'm sure there is a name for them but uh, I'm not going to look them up but these knobbly bits on the end uh, so we've got that done uh, now we need the front with the the forks in the front um, this was quite easy it's it's basically the same as these just a different shape so I've made this uh, six and a half inches long or seven centimeters sorry 17 centimeters and how wide are we uh, uh, an inch and a half wide and again this is parallel all the way all the way down there um, and then I've just cut the card at a, at a slight angle the same as I did there so it starts off thin there and gets a bit thicker there uh, so that's basically the um, that bit done um, I, I understand this is where the um, oh, freight goes in <laughs> anyway so, so I understand anyway um, now we need the forks so I've cut four pieces of card and they are seven and a half inches or 19 centimeters by three inches or eight centimeters and they will go either side like that and then two underneath as well so I've cut them there is um, a recess on the shape of this uh, plane along here so however much this is sticking out then there's a recess there for it and then a slight angle out there come and then uh, that shape on the end okay <clears throat> then once you've got that shape you can lay that on on the top like so and then <laughs> and then draw around with a pencil to get that shape so that's the shape then of that uh, circle and then join that to there There's, that's about three quarters of an inch 18 millimeters and then just join the two so that will then sit in there like that okay that's going to be the right shape for that okay so once I've got another one of those underneath then I'll do the same uh, process that I did around the circle uh, I think that's half an inch I forget now but whatever that is it must be the same as that so that will once once I've got that all the way around the shape of that then it will just be four separate units or sorry two separate units and then just uh, glue them into position okay I think I think uh, that that's as plain as I can make it but it's uh, it's getting that shape that is probably the most important but once they're cut to that size then uh, it's quite easy enough Okay, so I'll go ahead and do that. And then all that remains will be the uh, tube leading out to the um, cockpit. And then that will be it. Okay, so I'll be back in one moment and we'll do the last bit. Okay, so I cut out the right shape then for these, uh, well, these bits. I don't know what you'd call them, wings maybe. Um, made up the... Uh, um, units for them modules <clears throat> uh, then I noticed there were some circles cut into into the top there so I cut those out and just put a piece of uh, cardboard underneath um, then stuck them on so that's basically the whole thing finished apart from <laughs> the cockpit which um, in all my years of modeling 
It has been the most difficult thing to do. It's extremely, um, well, there's so many planes. Uh, it comes off at an angle like that. That's round. Then it's got to meet up with a, a circle there and go down to it. it anyway, it, it, it was a nightmare. It hurt my brain quite a bit. Uh, but I've, I've done the best I can. It's not perfect. Um, I've, I've used a toilet roll. <laughs> that seemed to be the best the best thing to use. Um, then put cut what whatever the diameter is of the toilet roll. I cut some discs of card and put in the end for strength, and then a piece on the end there, uh, and then for extra strength that that's going to fit on there like that. That's going to stick on there. So that's going to be quite quite uh, sturdy on there and then <clears throat> this piece of card will sit on the top like that okay so that's going to be basically the right shape um, as for this the, the, the actual cockpit itself um, <laughs> I, I was hoping to put some um, uh, see-through packaging underneath to uh, to show that there's glass in there but I, I, I just couldn't. I just di didn't know how to do it. Well, I, I would have had to have done it another way to get inside there to put the put the uh, um, see-through plastic there. So it's going to have to go without, I'm afraid. So uh, anyway, I can now put that on there and put everything together. And that will then be the completed aircraft. Okay, and, and that's as much as I'm going to do as far as uh, making the thing. Now, what of course makes the Millennium Falcon, <laughs> the, the Millennium Falcon, what makes it is all the stuff on it, okay? And I, I can't uh, show you how to do that. That has got to be um, looking and observing photographs or your own model maybe, and recreating that yourself. So uh, th this is as far as I can go, as far as actually making the thing in the first place. So what I'll do is I'm going to finish it off now, uh, put the uh, cockpit pieces all together, um, paint it up. I, I can fill where I've scored along these cardboard lines. I can fill with wall filler so there's no, uh, no gap there. Uh, and then put all the stuff on and uh, complete it and then I'll come back and show you the finished thing uh, so I'll see you in a moment and we'll see what it looks like okay so one Millennium Falcon completed um, I have to admit it took me longer to get it to this point than it did to actually build the thing in the first place all this uh, stuff going on all around it uh, so I'll go through what I did and uh, hopefully this will be of some help. So on top of the, the, the cardboard that was it was originally made of, um, I put these very thin pieces of card to make up the, uh, the actual um, fabrication of the ship. Um, if you look closely at uh, photographs, you'll see, see what I mean. So I put these strips of uh, thin card on. Um, for all the piping, of which there are or is a lot I, I use these thin very thin um, uh, toothpicks uh, just cut the sharp ends off and for you can bend just slightly I mean if you bend it too much obviously it's going to break but but for a slight bend in a in a toothpick you can make all kinds of uh, where are we like shapes of piping like that rather than just them being flat uh, the satellite dish which uh, moves by the way is um, the top of a um, washing up liquid bottle so cut the uh, the thread off there and cut around there and that becomes the satellite dish uh, what else I used a few pieces of uh, barbecue stick and small squares of um, cardboard and then to make up like if you look at the back uh, it, it is incredibly complicated with uh, pieces of 
how the how the, the whole ship is made. So I used some of my um, bricks that I make um, other dioramas with. Um, I've, I've made videos in the past how I make my brick from tile grout. Uh, just uh, broke a few of those up and laid those into PVA glue. And that gives the impression then of a very complicated, the same as the sides there. Um, from a distance, it all looks uh, the, the very complicated way that the electrical and mechanical way that the ship is made. Okay, so anyway, that's the completed um, ship. Have a go yourself. Um, I appreciate you can buy models like this, and I suppose they're reasonably inexpensive these days, but that's not the point. The point is to, to actually make the model yourself. It's, it's the making of it, not necessarily the finishing of it, that is the hobby. It's, uh, it's good to, to, I mean, it took me probably a week, a few, few, a few hours in the afternoon, that's all. But it pr probably took me a week. Uh, but it's, it's a very satisfying and uh, uh, very good hobby to do. Okay, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> okay, so I'll leave it with you. Have a go yourself. Let me know how you get on. Uh, please leave any comments you might have. Click the like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you really like to. Uh, click the subscribe button, the notification bell and the all button. And there will be new videos coming along. So uh, thanks for watching this. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now.